Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best Blu-ray players currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive and as varied as possible, narrowing it down to my favourite five, so no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we get going, drop a like and subscribe and turn on that bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm going to skip all the fluff and just jump right into my recommendations. And if you want to confirm what they are, go to the description there and check out that list to ensure that you also get the best pricing. All right, so jumping right into my first recommendation, and this is going to be the option for my favorite overall 4K option. And this is the Panasonic DP UB9000. So the DB DPUB9000 is Panasonic's flagship 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player, and it's the model to buy if you have a high-end TV and need something that can really push it to the max. It's beautifully made, enviably specified, and unshamely premium. The heavy metal build and the luxe design mean it feels high-end as well. But it's not just a pretty face. The DPUB9000 is also the first UHD deck from Panasonic to support all key HDR flavors, vanilla HDR10, its dynamic sibling HDR10+, HLG, and Dolby Vision. When tested, uh, we were impressed by its audio as by its image quality. It boasts high quality DACs, two channel and 7.1 channel analog outputs, and high res audio support. Toss in a host of smart features and the UB9000 ticks nearly every box. Naturally, all of these flagship features don't come cheap. However, for those seeking the best Blu-ray playback around and don't mind about it lacking some audio disc support, then look no further than this one. Its picture performance and overall build quality actually make that lofty price tag look like a steal, while cinematic imagery, full HDR compatibility, and powerful HDR optimizer make this player a must have if you are a video file um, who doesn't care about how much they spend. So in a nutshell, the pros, fantastic image quality, four types of HDR support, powerful HDR display optimizer. The cons, it's not cheap, and there's no SACD or DVD audio support. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best all-rounder for most people taking in price and performance, and this is the Panasonic DPUB820. So this is an ideal mid-range 4K Blu-ray player delivering pretty much every video feature you could want, including full HDR support, but without costing as much as the UB9000 at the top of the list. In tests, we found that this player may be more affordable, but it doesn't skimp on quality. Panasonic's HCX image processing works with a special chroma processor that can smartly turn the 4x2x0 color of Blu-ray into 4x4x4 before it reaches your TV. This is obviously very nerdy stuff I'm talking about, but the end result is the best color reproduction you can find for movies, basically. You've also got a bunch of streaming services built in in case you want to use this as your main movie viewing platform. Uh, and what you're missing compared to the UB9000 above is the tank-like build and the support for some more advanced music playback types. But a lot of people won't mind about this at all. I certainly don't. This is good enough to pair with high-end TVs and it also comes with a much more reasonable price. So in a nutshell, top picture quality for the price, full HDR support, but also the cons, no advanced audio disc support. The next one on my list is my recommendation for a cheaper 4K Blu-ray player, and this is the Sony UBP-X700. So the Sony UBP-X800 came out in 2017, a Blu-ray player that I rated quite highly uh, just for bringing beautiful 4K UHD um, at a sensible price. But there was one major feature missing and that was support for the Dolby Vision HDR standard. And the Sony UPB X700, which came out a year later, is an Ultra HD Blu-ray player that now includes support for Dolby's 12-bit scene-by-scene mastered HDR tour de force. However, there is no HDR 10 plus support with this. Otherwise, this is an impressive Blu-ray player that delivers a crisp, natural looking picture and fantastic detail. Your favorite movies and TV series are gonna look incredible. And the best bit is that it comes with a reasonably affordable price tag as well. So in a nutshell, what I like about this, very strong picture quality, the Dolby Vision support is now included, and the cons, no HDR 10 plus support, and the sound is not quite there when you compare it to the Panasonic's. The next one on my list is my recommendation for a solid runner-up, and this is the Revon UBR X100. 
So for 4K Blu-ray players, the Revon UBR X100 is really the new kit on the block, offering a stylish design and solid build quality to those who prefer their UHD decks to look like they really mean business. The disc support is fairly extensive, although the X100 can't handle SACD and DVD audio discs, and actual playback is smooth, responsive, and trouble-free. Whether it's CD, DVD, or Blu-ray, Full HD, 3D, and 4K variants, the Revon is a highly capable digital transport. In tests, I found that the native UHD content looked flawless and lower resolution material was perfectly upscaled to match today's 4K displays. There's support for HDR10 and Dolby Vision, but not the less popular HDR10 Plus format. Overall, the X100 is a welcome addition to the disc player market that delivers a very solid performance. Uh, it ticks all the important boxes with its tank-like construction, flawless playback, extensive features, and quiet operation. However, there's no denying that it does fall short when compared to the similarly priced and better specified Panasonic DBUB9000, but still a great alternative. The next one on my list is my another recommendation uh, for a good value option that is, has great audio, and this is the Revon UBR X200. So the UBR X200 is a desirable high-end 4K Blu-ray player that brings military-grade construction and a stylish finish to the luxury end of the market. The disc support is extensive but not quite universal, and while this player can handle CD, SACD, DVD, or Blu-ray with Full HD, 3D, and 4K variants, it can't play the lossless layer on a DVD audio disc. However, in all other respects, it's highly capable. Uh, deck that ensures UHD content is delivered perfectly and lower resolution material is upscaled to 4K with artifact free processing and pixel precision. The support for HDR10 and Dolby Vision, although not the less popular HDR10 Plus format, but that minor point aside, the video performance is really flawless. The X200 includes Audiophile Burr Brown DACs combined with Balance XLR and 7.1 channel analog audio outputs, ensuring an impressive sonic performance. The result is a player that's sure to keep uh, music and movie fans happy. Uh, the media file support is extensive, even the lack of Wi-Fi forces you to use a wired connection, but there are no built-in streaming apps. The X200 is certainly impressive. Uh, and it is a luxury deck that can handle whatever you throw at it. The operation is flawless, upscale is impressive, and there's Dolby Vision support plus analog output to keep the audio files happy. So in a nutshell, I like the superb 4K upscaling, extensive file support, Dolby Vision decoding, audio file outputs, and the cons are no DVD audio support, no HDR10+, no wireless connectivity, and no built-in apps. All right guys, so hopefully there's something on that list for you, whether you're looking for something high-end, premium, something that looks good, something more budget, hopefully I've included something there for you. If you do have any questions though, drop them in the comments below, and if you found value in this video, it really helps out if you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.